Hey everyone, Sean here. This is the next video in the Curiosity Workout series. I started this journey because I found something in Venice that was missing in my life and it was seeing the world in wonder and fascination and I realized that there was a lack of curiosity in my world when I came when I went back to Toronto I was afraid that I would lose this curiosity I'd found and if anyone out there watching these videos can relate to that feeling then this next exercise is critically important sometimes we need to create space for that which is missing you know in in a world where we are always busy always scrambling there's a real need within us to find space and time for reflection and there's even studies showing that there are significant health and creativity benefits from finding that time for reflection daily and so that's the exercise the next exercise in the workout is to carve out a tiny amount of time for reflection to, to have nothing playing in your ears to have no alerts coming up on your phone, to have no social media or anyone talking to you, to just have daily, even if it's just 10 minutes, that time where you can just be present. For some people, that's a 10 minute meditation in the mornings. For me, it's finding 10 or 20 minutes on my walk with my dog where I can just let go and just relax and let what comes up, comes up. And this ties in really well to the curiosity index and the journaling. You know, during those 10 or 20 minutes, you know, the things that keep coming up for me, I'll often jot down in my journal. I'm like, that's interesting, this keeps coming up. It could be something I see, something I hear, it could be a thought that keeps coming. So that's basically it. It's to carve out a bit of time in your day where there's no distractions. <laughs> it's just you in the world or meditating in, your, in a little room or whatever. For me, it meant getting up a little bit earlier in the morning, setting my alarm a little bit earlier because I found that the walks that I would take with my dog quickly disappeared when I became stressed, right? Or the world became, you know, was when I was struggling to keep up. I would, I would just narrow down that time and we would just go to the local park really fast and I'd be annoyed and on my phone the whole time. So now I just set that alarm clock earlier and I try best as I can every day to go out and just have a time where I can just reflect and be present. So that's it. I'll leave us with a little bit of time watching and listening to the ocean and I look forward to speaking to you all soon. And it's a lake, by the way. <laughs> Talk to y'all soon.